you know, as I come to the end of my time as county executive, there are some things I'm going to be glad to not do anymore. <laughs> There's a lot of those. And there are going to be some things that I'm going to miss. This is one of those events where probably coming in, I did not know it would be one of my favorite events and for probably a very different reason. I didn't know anything about the caregivers conference that we put on as a county before I became county executive. And to tell you the truth, I didn't think much about it when I became county executive. It is only through the journey that my family and I have had that I've come to appreciate not only the work of our family services, but quite honestly, it is a chance for us to get together who are caregivers and talk to each other and support each other. It has become a place where we can actually talk freely. We don't get very many opportunities to do that. I know many of you are like me and you have a day job. And in that day job, you do your job. You don't talk about what you do at home. Well, it's much the same as I am. You know, I've talked to people about, you know, our journey. I've talked to people about how, you know, at 48 years old, my wife was diagnosed with early onset dementia and how our world completely changed. I'm also open and I talk about the mistakes that I made as a beginning caregiver of how my children, especially my youngest daughter, who's an amazing individual, helped her daddy out during the first two years of my administration so I could do my day job. <clears throat> you know, I, I said this, when, when we went public um, with my wife's diagnosis, people said, well, that's really brave of you. We're so glad you did that. And I try to be as honest as possible. And I said, it wasn't my idea. It was clear that her role had changed, as you can see from the video, and people were gonna notice. My first reaction is like most people's first reaction is that this is a private matter. And if people don't like the fact that something has changed in our private life, so be it. It was my children who had the right attitude. Once again, especially the youngest one, my daughters are much like their mother, so they tell me exactly how they think and feel, whether I want to hear it or not. But the youngest one said, well, you know what, with that job of yours, you could probably do some good for a change. <laughs> I had to think for a minute. I said, you know, honey, I do good every day. <laughs> and I said, well, what do you mean? She said, one, it gives us a chance to talk about mommy. But more importantly, it gives you a chance to use it as a platform to actually help other people the same way you have been helped by the services that Family Service and the Alzheimer's Association. We can't advocate for caregiving or research or money if we stay silent. Sometimes young people do have great ideas. So as I said, oftentimes when we get together in these settings, we get to talk about what it is our day is like. So I'd like to tell you about my day to day. I thought about this coming over here and I said, you know, I don't get a chance to do this. I'm gonna use this last opportunity to talk about my day and I'm sure some of you can relate to it. My oldest daughter and I did a early morning television show to promote the Alzheimer's Walk in Prince George's County, which is gonna be this Saturday. Um, to raise money and awareness. We hope everybody comes out. It's going to be a beautiful day. Um, so we were on a early show, which you had to be there at 8 o'clock in the morning. Well, I overslept. <laughs> which on a normal 
schedule you just hurry up get dressed go but when I oversleep by five minutes my day completely changes because I've timed it down to the minute of how long it takes me to get my wife her medicine get dressed and get her ready for the person who's going to relieve me if I'm off by five minutes it throws it off so this morning I had to say to myself I asked one of my daughter other daughters to come in I said watch mommy while I go do this show when I come back I'm gonna change mommy and get her ready so I went and did the television interview went back to our place bathed her gave her medicine got her ready and had her ready for when the person that came in to relieve me and then came here and we'll go to the next place. That's how many of our days start. It is also how many of our days end. I was asked during this last campaign, I ran for governor, and people said, you know, after I lost, you know, people were asking me, you know, how are you doing? You know, um, how did you handle the loss? And at that night, when you're getting the returns in, and it didn't look like it was going my way, I was really, you know, upset and sad, you know. And about maybe 12, 30, 1 o'clock, I went home. <clears throat> and Booby was there. And I started what you start, and that is get her ready, get her medicine, put her to bed. And I realized in that moment of time, what is really important? The most important thing was not whether I won or lost an election. The most important thing to our family and to us was, my wife is at home, she's healthy as can be, she's alive and she's with us. And it remember And you were reminded at those moments, as I said, what's really important. And that is for all of us in the space and time that God gives us to use everything that we had have to not only help our families but provide the type of resources and help to other families. I know for my daughters, my son, and myself, and it's been a part of our administration, so I can speak of that, the thing that we will cherish most is that we use every minute of our time in this office to try and make sure that the resources and support that I got as county executive that everybody in this county gets. That the attention that our family received because of this position, as my daughter would say, to use it for good, that we use that to make sure that we leave the county and the agencies a little bit better. And that we recognize, just like you recognize, that the fight does not end with being in elective office. In fact, it just begins. I look forward in December of joining you in the most important position there is in our great democracy. And that is as a private citizen advocating, talking about, and promoting the care, the support, the research so that everybody, all of us, can do the things that will make the quality of life for those that we love better. And isn't that really what it's about? So I want to um, thank all the presenters today with great information that will help you through this journey. 
I want you to know on behalf of the Prince George's County government that we appreciate each and every one of you. And as I close, let me just say this. What makes this conference and makes this worthwhile is you. If this room wasn't filled, we wouldn't be doing this next year. If this room, if you didn't come out and support this and talk, tell us what, what we need to do, we wouldn't be able to provide this for the next generation. So I want to thank you for being here. I want to thank you for being caregivers. I want to thank you for supporting caregivers. And I want you to know that as long as I have the ability, I will be joining you to advocate for this. God bless you. Thank you. Thank you.